magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Stand with me, if you will. People of God, what do we believe? We believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into Hades. The third day he arose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Glory be unto sing together and can it be that I should gain an interest in my Savior's blood. Let us sing together this grand hymn of the church. Sing only as grace can sing. Lift your voices and sing.
those chains of bondage fell off and your heart was set free. Come on and give God some praise in this room. My heart set free. I rose. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, Grace. I said, Praise the Lord. Open your mouth and bless the name of Jesus, Grace. He's worthy of your praise. Stand to your feet with me. He's wonderful. He's mighty. He's powerful. He's a healer. He's a keeper. He's a deliverer. He's a shelter in the time of storm. He's a way maker. He's a way out of nowhere. Hallelujah, Jesus. We bless you, oh God. We bless you, oh God. We magnify you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. Hallelujah, Jesus. We lift your name in this space. We're here to praise your name.
place. Somebody bless him for his word. Because his word is true. It will not return void. If he said it, he's going to fulfill it. Hallelujah, Jesus, we bless you. How many of you are friends of God? If you're a friend of God, just give a wave offering. If you're a friend of God, say, he's my friend. He's my friend. And he calls me friend. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. We bless you on this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, we bless you, Jesus. We love you. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. We love you. We love you. We love you. Who am I? You are mindful of me. That you hear me. Is it true that you are thinking of me? How you love. 
moment to just give God some praise in this house. Can we take just a moment to give God some radical praise? Can somebody think of what the Lord has done in your life and give God some praise? Come on, shout it, shout it. Come on, saints of God, give God the praise in this house. Come on, lift those hands. Lord, I know the song says, I'm a friend of yours, but it's so reassuring to know that you're a friend of mine. And I thank you, Lord God. We thank you right now. What a friend we have in Jesus. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to you in prayer. Lord, we bless you. We praise you. Lord, cause your presence to break through the atmosphere and fill our hearts right now. We bless you. Come on, just take a moment just to bless the Lord. Just bless him. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come on, come on, come on. Come and quench this thirsting of my soul. Bread of heaven. I want no more Fill my cup Fill it up And make Come on, say it again Fill my cup Come on, say it with me I lift it up, Lord Come and quench this thirsting of bread of heaven, bread of heaven, bread of heaven, bread. Feed me till I want no. Fill my cup, fill it up. Lift those 
those hands and tell them, Come on, come on, come on. I lift it up. I lift it up. Come and quench. Say it from your spirit. Bread of heaven. Bread. Shout hallelujah. Somebody ought to stand to your feet and give God praise. Somebody ought to glorify, honorable, glorify his name. done mess up the whole thing here now. I am standing here this morning to welcome you into the house of the Lord. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. Let me welcome you to our service. This weekend was extremely special. 
for all the women of God and all the other women who love God. We had our refresh and refill, women's gathering, and so we came in today just about overflowing and then Bishop started with his uh, praising and now we just don't know where we are going. But God is good. Hallelujah. I want to thank those of you who made it in-house this morning and women from where I'm standing, you look good. You look good and God is pleased that we are making our way out back into the house of the Lord. We are tired of staying home. So now we are coming back out. We are looking even better. Praise the name of the Lord. Let me welcome those of you who are also viewing us on our live stream and our Facebook and Instagram and however you're catching us. I thank you. Continue to like us and share us. Call somebody right now. Let them know that Grace Church of all nations, we are coming into your house and we want you to be a part of it. We want you to be blessed also. Continue to write us. Continue to like us. Send us in your words of testimony. Let us know how you've been doing. We thank you. Keep doing it. And for those of you who are not yet members, there's an app on our website, www.gcoan.org. There's an application membership app. Fill that out and become a part of us. We want you in the number. We want to count you in and for those of you who are here. Anybody here for the first time? I see a hand for the f I see two hands for the first time. Or oh, give them a big hand praise. We've got ladies coming in and you too. You too can find that membership. Ask when the ushers want to greet us so that you can fill out that membership app. Become a part of us. We are in the family building, God's kingdom building, and we need you to be a part of it. We don't want to leave any woman or man out. So join up with us, and God will be pleased as we continue to improve his kingdom. God bless you. And if I were you, I would join me here again next Sunday. Come upon your yeah, honey, that's you. Yeah. Oh, wow. So listen. Um, so she asked me, uh, what do you want? What do you want me to do? Anything you want to do, honey, just stand here with me for just a moment. Um, first of all, I feel the Pentecostal spirit. That's because we had some Pentecostal stand at our house this week. And they were just carrying on all Pentecostal-like. Amen. Dr. Donna, Dr. Gloria, and Evangelist Lee, uh, Jean, amen, along with Teresa McNeil and and uh, Sister Reed, they were at the house and just, we were just having church. Amen, amen. Also with uh, Brother uh, Jordan over here, who's going to render a selection for us in just a minute. But I just want to say that my spirit is, is filled. I wasn't at the women's co uh, conference to uh, refresh and refill, but I hear that it was an awesome time. My wife, my wife does not want to have anything to say. She said, you can just say it all. Well, I say it all, all the time. <laughs> Amen. So I just want her to just say something, thank you or whatever. It just was a blessing on yesterday. Amen. And I've been blessed. I've been blessed for those few days that the saints were with me. We're singing the old hymns and the old call worship songs, all of the, you know, those old time uh, songs talking about the saints of old. Amen. We had fun back in the day, didn't we? Even in church, even sometimes laughing at the saints. Amen. I'm sure the young people laugh at us too. Amen. But God is so good. It's so good to see uh, all of our visitors. Lisa, where are you, Lisa? There you are. Good to see you. And Amen. Uh, who else did you bring with you, hon? Oh, <laughs> and mom. God bless you. Good to see you on the day. And who is this over here? This is somebody. That's not Chevelle. Amen. Chevelle from Morning Star. Amen. Good to see you on the day. Huh? 
Miss Pearlie who? Miss Pearl Bailey? Pearlie Thompson, amen. Good to see you over there. God bless you. Amen. So good to see the saints of, of the Most High God on today. Hun, have something to say, if you will. Okay. I say we've had an awesome weekend. The women have come together, and we've heard the word together. We've praised together. We've cried together. We've laughed together. We've enjoyed each other. We've had an awesome, awesome time in the Lord this weekend, and it continues. I thank God for every one of you that put your hand to this to make it. I didn't do it by myself. The women did it. And I thank God also for the men who made contributions so that some of the women could afford to go. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. That's it? Okay. All right. Love you, dear. I didn't hear. Love you, too. We have with us on today uh, Brother Jordan Williams. Jordan's a, an, ex, an awesome uh, musician. As a matter of fact, he's uh, been with the, he was with the Benny Hinn Ministries, uh, Kirk Franklin Ministry. Um, uh, he's uh, an awesome young man in the Lord. So I, I asked him to sit at the piano. You, you're more comfortable at this one. It's okay, whatever you're comfortable. And to uh, play something for us. So what are you going to play for us? Uh, to God be the glory. Andre Crouch. Amen. Let's hear Let's give him a hand. Jesus.
the glory. To God be the glory. With his blood, he has saved me. With his power, he has raised me. <laughs> I feel a shout somewhere. Amen. I, I feel a praise somewhere. And I think I've got enough Pentecostal folk in here to, to give God some praise. Can you just give me a downbeat for just a moment?
cooped up inside the house. When I get a chance to come into the house of God, amongst the saints of God, I'm going to give for God some praise. I'm going to praise Him. And I don't need nobody to praise God for me. I can praise Him. I can praise Him for myself. Hallelujah. God bless you. Before we have our, our, our sermonic selection, Sister Reverend Claudine, come up if you will, please. Uh, our speaker on today is, is her sister, and she's going to introduce you to her. Many of us know uh, Sister Pearl, Pastor Pearl. She's going to introduce us to need a word. This is a day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice. Let us rejoice. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Once again we come to the house of God to unite in songs of praise, to exalt his name and to sing of our Redeemer's praise. Today I stand introduce the song and to present to others my baby sister we're in the house of God that's my older sister I've watched God's anointing upon her life and I could honestly say she has always said, the greater the anointing, the greater the test. And I see God elevating and elevating and elevating her. And I could honestly say, she's been a vessel of honor, a vessel for the master's use. And without further ado, I introduce to you, Pearl Richardson. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. If we can just remain standing, the word is coming. I'm going to get right out of your way. As the musicians are resituating themselves. It's been on my heart all week, the song, Draw Me Close to You. God, never let me go. Has that been on anybody's heart? Just think about the words real quick. Draw me close to you Never let me go I lay it all down again To hear you say that I Bye. 
lifted up all together. Say, never let me go. Never let me go.
without you. Absolutely, totally lost without you. And I'm desperate for you. I'm desperate for you. Glory to God this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I stand in deference to the God appointed shepherd of this house, Bishop Foxworth and Pastor Karen Foxworth. Amen. Give your bishop and your pastor a hand this morning. Appointed, God appointed shepherd of this house. And I recognize all the ministers of this house and those who are visiting. I recognize you this morning and all the congregants of the Grace Church of All Nations, those present and those who are streaming and I particularly 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 speak to those women hallelujah, hallelujah. those women who have been refilled <laughs> refreshed restored recharged Restored. Hallelujah. And now I ask, what's next? What's next? And so turn to your neighbor and tell them purpose. Purpose. Purpose is what's next. Hallelujah. Purpose. You know. I have this phone and it loses its charge very quickly and so my charger has become an accessory and every morning I never leave home without my charger because I need to reconnect my phone during the daytime because when I step off the railroad, I need to be able to use my phone to summon a Uber to take me to my home. Yes, so my phone, I use it because it serves a purpose. Purpose. So now, turn to the other neighbor and say, there's purpose in me. Yes. I get some Get some attitude and say, there's purpose in me. There's purpose in me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let me tell you, there was over 600,000 who were lost in the United States by the COVID. And you are here this morning because there's purpose in you. There's purpose in you. There's purpose in every single one of you here this morning hallelujah there is purpose in you there is purpose in you I think I have a bit of time to put some context to this word this morning and I'm coming to you from the book of Judges chapter 4 and you can read that when you do have the time amen amen this was the time 
in this narrative where God had delivered his promise to his people and they had previously conquered the Canaanites so that they could dwell in the land that God had promised them but they had left some of the Canaanites in the land in disobedience to God's instructions and so the people of God had become influenced by immersed into the culture of the Canaanites living among them and I leave that topic of becoming part of a culture to your pastor the bishop and I move right along and because of their sin having been succumbed and involved with idol worship as was the culture around them God had allowed the same Canaanites who they had conquered previously to now oppress them and so this is the time when God's people there was no king in Israel and God appointed judges as administrators for his people say amen. amen amen and we meet Deborah a woman with purpose hallelujah she was one of the 12 judges appointed in Israel and may I add she was the only woman among the 12 that was ever appointed as a judge over Israel say amen women hallelujah Hall give a shout out to our sister Deborah and Deborah was gifted with wisdom and she had a relationship with God and that relationship enhanced her ability to judge the people of Israel yes, 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 yes. and she judged them yes she also encouraged them during this time of oppression glory to God hallelujah and the word tells us ah she held court under this palm tree where she would settle disputes oh she not only settle disputes but she encouraged them and she used this time to help to point them back to the laws of God hallelujah this woman of purpose Deborah and so Deborah the woman of purpose she called for Barak and I believe that Barak already had something within him and the call from Deborah ignited that that was in him and she called and she said Barak God has called you to command an army against King Jabin who is oppressing us oh glory to God ah it is time that God's people stand up against the oppression that is around us hallelujah and walk in purpose walk in purpose walk in purpose stand up for something if you don't stand up for something they say you will fall for anything glory to God and Barak said because Deborah as she held court under this palm tree and people came she had an audience and so when when Barak came and and he told and she told him you God has called you yes to lead the people and Barak says I will go if you go with me 
Now I read that as Barack saying, I respect your integrity to Pohara. I respect your relationship with God. And so the only way that I will go is if you go with me because you have a reputation of being someone who has a relationship with God. Women of God in this house this morning, what's your reputation? What goes before you? Hallelujah. What do you what does your reputation say about you? We cannot afford to be the kind of woman who shows up and when she shows up at the meeting, there's a collective groan in the spirit of the other women because they know once you come through the door, the meeting is going to go sideways. That's not the kind of reputation that we want to be as women of purpose. Women of purpose. Women of purpose. Yes. And Deborah, she laid out the case. She laid out ah, uh, ah, uh, who would make up the conscript of this army. Ah, uh, where they would come from. Where the fighters would come from. How many of them? 10,000 fighters would become part of the army that Barack would lead. And she laid that out. And she laid out uh, where it's going to take place. At Mount Tabor. It's going to go down at Mount Tabor. And then she gave him this piece of information. And she said, God has already ordained success for this mission. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She was on behalf of God and say God has already declared success for this mission yes and so the army was mobilized yes the army was mobilized and King Zabin, Jabin he had a general by the name of Sisera and he was an experienced and accomplished general but he was an enemy of God's people and when Sisera heard that the Israelite army had mobilized I imagine him ah, in all of his self and all of believing in all that they had he must have said We have 900 chariots and they are pimped out with sights. Sights were uh, a carved blade uh, extended on a handle. And he said, we have 900 chariots all pimped out with these sights so that when we attach them to the wheels of a chariot, we are going to do maximum damage to these 10,000 foot soldiers we are going to make oh hallelujah to God quick quick disposal of them sometimes the enemy seems formidable glory to God sometimes what you are facing seems on hallelujah insurmountable you are not equipped it seemed to deal with what is facing you but I'm here to tell you this morning God mission hallelujah whatever whoever your sister is this morning just know whether you're here sitting or you're streaming I speak to you whoever your sister is whatever that represents in 
your life God has already declared victory he's already declared success for the mission he's already declared it and once God said it it will be so if God says it it is so if God says it it is so because he watches over his word to perform it he watches over his word to perform hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so, because God had declared success, success is what it had to be. Yeah, you can put your feet up. Hallelujah. Once God declares success, you can get some tea. Put your feet up and wait, wait. It has to happen. It has to happen. It has to happen. It has to happen. Oh, put your feet up and wait for success. Once God said it, it's going to be so. 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 And because God said success, it had to be success. And so God and demolished the armies of Cicero leaving him Cicero not in one of those 900 pimped out chariots but it rendered Cicero my God rendered Cicero hallelujah to be fleeing on foot on foot some chaps in chariots some trust in horses but I trust in the name of the Lord I trust in the name of the Lord and so he Cicero had to abandon all those iron chariots and now he is fleeing on foot what a beautiful sight what a beautiful sight the enemy running that's a beautiful sight hallelujah the enemy on the run that's an awesome sight that's an awesome sight and although this narrative highlights Deborah there was a second woman whose contribution was pivotal to the success of this mission yes, yes. yes and all the bible describes and all the title that is ascribed to her is she was wife of heber that's all wife of heber she had no other title she was wife of heber who was a clanman or for the clan of the Kenites and the Kenites because they did not live under the suppression of King Zabin there was peace between Zabin and the Kenites and so Sisera on foot fle fleeing for his life how he was comfortable going to the camp of this clanman Heba and he met Jael another woman with divine purpose hallelujah divine purpose i'll be meet jael yes and he goes to the tent of jael and he says i'm thirsty oh and she says come on in come on in oh she knew who he was she knew he was the enemy saints of god women of god when the enemy shows up you've got to know it you've got to know it you've got to know it you can't flirt with the enemy you got to know it you got to know it and she says come in and here's the thing she jail was on purpose and she was connected and so jail offered Sisera 
milk. Now tell me, who offers milk to a grown man? And who offers milk to a grown military man? Now I'm not advocating for strong drink, past Bishop Foxworth. But she was divinely inspired and she was living on purpose. Hallelujah. And so Sisera came in and she covered him up. Yes. And she gave him a glass of warm milk. And as he succumbed, yes, to the comfort of sleep and the unconsciousness that comes with sleep. Oh, yes. Uh, Jael, this woman, this woman who was anointed and living on purpose, as he slept, she stealthily, stealthily, quietly, stealthily, stealthily, stealthily retrieved her a pet from the tent and a hammer with which she stealthily came back to the enemy. Hallelujah! She came back to the sleeping enemy. Glory to God! And with the hammer and the tent peg, she fastened Sisera's head to the floor of her tent. Hallelujah! Glory to God! And let me tell you, ah, the enemy was delivered that day in the hands of a tent dwelling woman who was on purpose. A tent dwelling woman. Ah, people of God, women of God, get busy in your tent. 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 In your tent. You may never, like Deborah, have be able to hold court under a palm tree. You may never be able to take a mic in your hand or have an audience like Deborah. But maybe your work doesn't need an audience. Your work doesn't need an audience. Your work doesn't need an audience. Get busy in your tent. 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 In your tent. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes. And she was only the wife. That was her title. But that day, she brought home the trophy the head of Sisera. Don't get hung up about titles. Hallelujah! Don't get hung up about titles. Your work can be done without a title. Your work can be done without a title. Oh, Deborah and Jael, they were on the same team and that's what's important. Be on the same team. Have a common mission. Oh, glory to God. Be on the same team. Don't get offended. Hallelujah. If they didn't consult you about what the color of the choir's robe is going to be. And don't get offended. If they didn't ask you what color carpet should be on the floor. That's not the fight. 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 Oh, be on the right team the team that defends almighty God and so that day Jael wife her only title wife she brought home the trophy and so I said to you women I've got this morning and I can imagine I can't imagine that after she nailed Sisera's head to the floor that her hands were clean I imagine her hands were dirty get your hands dirty get your hands dirty become involved get your hands dirty hallelujah be on the right team and get your hands dirty become involved with the mission it's not about the color 
of the carpet or the color of the color robes get busy on the mission the right mission get busy on the right mission and so women of God as I close here I invite you to take a moment take a moment it's about purpose we've been refilled and refreshed and now it's about purpose wrap your hands around yourself right now here in the temple of God wrap your hands around yourself and confirm to yourself there is purpose in me there is purpose in me you may not be able to see it You may not be able to see it, but there is purpose in you. There is purpose in you. Affirm this to yourself this morning, that there is purpose in you. There is purpose in you. You can be a mod. We have a model today of Deborah, who was an encourager and who lives close to the heart of God on purpose. And we have the model JL in the secrecy of her tent without an audience, but on purpose. On purpose. Whatever it is that your tent looks like, it could be your home. Get busy in your tent. Hallelujah. 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 Everyone standing in the presence of the Lord. Even me, Lord. Even me. If the Lord needs somebody, here am I. Even me. I'll go. Can you lift those hands unto the Lord? God is such a faithful God. It does not matter. It does not matter who you are. What gifts or talents you have or may not have, there is purpose for you. So can you lift those hands and just bless them? Even me, Lord, even me, even me, Lord. Even me, let some drops not fall on me. Even me, Lord, even me. fall upon each one of us on this, in this place. Every one of us has been ordained with purpose. Yes. Oh God, we pray for the revelation of purpose right now in every heart in this room. 
even me. Use me, God. I am willing. I am willing. I'll say yes to your will. Yes, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Let some drops. Let some drops. Let some drops. Now fall. for just a moment. Just as Teresa McNeil is going to come and she's going to sing Great is thy faithfulness. Come, Teresa, if you will. She's here. God is faithful. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Isn't God faithful? Thank you, Jesus. Great is thy faithfulness.
Colombia. somebody to give God some praise I just want to know I know some of you all don't know what we're doing you don't know why we're doing what we're doing but if you knew like I know what the Lord has done for me hallelujah you just want to give my God some praise in this room hallelujah how many of you can testify if it had not been for the Lord on your side you wouldn't even be here today so give him praise
are watching us by live stream or it's time to give unto the Lord. It will be shown on the screen how you can give. Give by push pay. You can give by cash app, Venmo. You can mail your gift in. Or you can bring it by the church. Let's give unto the Lord as he's given unto us. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Thank you for joining us on the day. We pray that you are blessed of the Lord. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Amen. That's just for live stream. You're not, I'm not finished with you yet.